I've always had a long-standing interest in natural products as a source of new drugs for the treatment of cancer. So when I was introduced to Taxol, no one had any idea of how this drug kills cells. So I set out to try to figure out what is the mechanism action of Taxol. It was a question because this was a drug that we knew inhibited the proliferation of cells growing in tissue culture. And we also knew that it inhibited the growth of B60 melanoma, a tumor in mice. But nobody had any idea how this was happening. We really knew very little about this molecule. But what we found out was that this molecule binds specifically in the cell to part of the cytoskeleton of the cell. So there are many components in a cell that are part of the cytoskeleton, but we particularly were looking at microtubules. And when we began to look at these cells by electron microscopy, what we saw was that there were many bundles of microtubules in the cell. And this was extremely exciting because this was a new mechanism of action that had not previously been described. I like to say that was a hallelujah moment for me when I realized that this small molecule, Taxol, had a new mechanism of action for an anti-tumor drug. And of course, since the drug has been approved, it's been given to millions of patients throughout the world. So I think it has had a definite effect on cancer patients. We know so many people, each of us individually, people who are suffering from this disease. We already have been able to show that basic research done in a scientific laboratory can really provide a lot of information and help us develop new drugs for the treatment of cancer.